Another lesson in wing car trivia for cloning. Uh, mine is not an original Daytona. It is, I would even consider it a clone because it's not exactly, it's more of a custom clone, if you might say. But my dad and I, back in the 80s, late 70s, no, it would have been 80s, about 80, probably 82, we discovered, really I should say my dad did, he started measuring rear windows in cars and came across a Vega hatchback and said, my gosh, those things are almost exactly the same. So this is a Vega hatchback rear window and you cut it out, you fit it in, and you have to still, typically at the top, a Vega hatchback only has about this much, this much of it, and then you have to weld in from here to about here. A lot of people, what they do is they don't, they don't put it in, the, they don't put this plug, the rear plug in correctly, and they don't shove it up high enough because you have to kind of pound out this a little bit, the, the pillars or the tunnel rear window a little bit, because this should be approximately, I think it's about 12, inch, 12 inches from here to here in an original wing. The Daytona wings, the radiuses are different, or the wings, the Daytona rear windows are different. On a Vega, the bottom part has the larger radius and the top part has a tighter radius. On the original Daytona rear windows, the upper radius is wider and the lower radius is tighter. So it's, you'll never see it unless they're next to each other, but you know, they're just inverted. But the distance and the overall size uh, of a Daytona rear window these are, there's just better way to go, I think. If I'm not going to build an, a, an exact replica to fool people, which I don't really care about fooling people. Uh, to me, it's just an enjoyable hobby to have. And the Vega hatchback almost matches the original uh, chrome. Enough of that era to not make much difference. And these are aluminized, aluminum, um, with a coating that you just simply sand off, which is really hard, and buff them, and they're not stainless. This is aluminum, and they, it, it fits. They, you fit in there. You don't have to worry about, um, if you do a Daytona rear plug, you've got to modify your trim and come up with them, and it can be done, but then the glass for a Daytona rear window glass are very hard to come by, um, even aftermarket and there's plastic ones that you can get. I've seen plastic ones in, in the hot heat of the day or the hot, the sun gets so hot, they can, it can even lose its radius. As you can see, a Daytona and the original Daytona windows have kind of a bulge to it. They're not flat across. It's got kind of, it has a radius and a bulge to it. And that's hard to come by if you, I've seen, I've seen a person actually just take flat glass and cut it out and put it in there just to, and, and force it to have a bow. Just didn't look right. Um, and what I do is, because you can see the inside of a, even a real Daytona, um, but you can see the inside little uh, rope that they use to seal it underneath the glass. I just simply looked at modern cars and I go, hey, they've got that black stripe that hides all that and makes it, cleans it up really, really well. And uh, so anyway, that's just kind of a little story on how the rear Daytona uh, Vega hatchback was discovered. It got popularized. We kept it a secret for years um, until, oh, probably about when Joe Dirt came out. When the Joe Dirt movie came out, uh, the person that helped build that Daytona, Joe Dirt Daytona, used a Vega hatchback rear window. They ran into me and my dad up in Portland, 
at a uh, car show up in Portland on 122nd in about Gleason and where we had both of our Daytonas parked and my dad had the rear plug and this guy asked us, you know, how did you do that? What did you do? And so me and my dad told him, didn't think that it would be that popular. And then um, somebody mentioned, actually it was nice. Somebody said that they ran into a father and son up in, uh, up in Portland where they got the idea. So it was nice that they gave credit. It was like make Mopar Connection magazine back in the 80s or whenever, 90s, whenever Joe Dirt came out, the movie. I have to look up the date on that. But anyway, that's kind of the uh, story of the rear window of a Daytona. And for me, I just have to have them like this. It just finishes it off. So, till next time.